after we got in, it's very dark. And uh, what I saw was not good. Nothing wrong with the boat. I think the boat's going to be fine, but uh, had a big old tree limb drop on the mast. So I'm going to go take a look at that right now, now that it's daylight. And, uh, yeah, this is not good. I'm thinking that, I don't think it bent the mast or anything like that, but it's a concern. Yeah, that, that really mangled the, uh, uh, the wind direction indicator up there. I haven't gone up there. I'm going to have to get over here later. Completely squash my, um, my stand that I had it on. Anyway, all right. That's it for now. All this crap has got to move out of here. It all comes from this one wonderful, wonderful tree right up here that is just rotting all the pieces and dropping crap on my, on my mast. So, all right. Well, Let's get up on the boat. you kind of mangle the wind vane, but I think we can correct this. This is all pretty, pretty easy to bend back. We'll, uh, we'll mess with it. I think we'll be all right. This it bent the bracket, but again, that's something I can bend back. It'll all work. It just uh, frustrating. I got the limb hauled out of here and got everything set back up on the stands and uh, got it braced so that it'll stay horizontal to the ground with the spreaders there. So anyway, all right, we're good for now. dark in here but we're back aboard little girl and got some projects planned got some rain coming in and uh, today and tomorrow and I just uh, got to thinking about it I says you know what this needs to be done this wood trim here see I mean I got all this marvelous you can't see it very well but all this marvelous new mahogany stuff in here and Anyway, that all the doors, everything that's been done was all brand new mahogany and so forth. And and the panels are that way. This woodwork is all original stuff. And I'm going to sand it all down and stain it and varnish it so that uh, it matches up with the rest of the mahogany in here. And uh, that's my little rainy day project. The beauty of it is um, I can do it when this place is all buttoned up. And it won't take them here. It's easier to see over here. You can see that. Um, it, it, I'm not going to worry. I, I don't think about stripping it so much as I am just sanding the daylights out of it and see what we could do that way. Anyway, um, try to get that looking as good. As, I don't know if you can see it. I mean, the mahogany in here is just really beautiful. And uh, anyway, next project. All of a sudden, we went from rain in the forecast to you-know-what. And I got my solar panel out. This is good. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. In the meantime, uh, while it was looking very dark and gloomy and looked like rain was imminent, I was down here doing all this and getting this all sanded out. And this is really all set. I sanded it first with 80, which basically just wiped out what was left of the old varnish. And then I went over it with uh, 120. I may go over it with 220, I don't know, but this is this is in really good shape. This is ready for some stain and varnish. And this is gonna look a whole lot better. Well, this is all covered with dust now, but there's, there's my mahogany. Uh, that's what it looks like when it's done properly. And that's this, it's gonna look like that. Okay, like I said, it's all dusty now, but instead of that, and this is with the old crappy varnish that was on it that is uh, basically just scaling off. Ultimately, I'm going to get uh, these, all these, these uh, trim pieces around the edge all done. And these uh, vertical, actually, they're not vertical. These uh, diagonal pieces that go up the, uh, uh, the edge of the, the bulkhead here, which is not a bulkhead. But anyway, I'm going to get these all sanded out and, and uh, stain and and uh, varnish and it's really weird because that really is pretty close to the red mahogany that I have on this on the rest of this this is all this is solid mahogany here uh, for the electric panel and mahogany veneer over here anyway uh, all of this is gonna get all trimmed out looking nice and stained and 
urethane and in good shape for the boat so well it's taken me the better part of an hour but this is finally all sanded out port starboard everything's all set uh, all the trim is all ready to go I just got to put some stain on this let it sit for about 20 minutes wipe it down and when that's done um, well come to think of it that part just the verticals if you want to call them that uh, those are going to have to wait till tomorrow because theoretically you're not supposed to leave it eight hours but all this trim right here around the uh, the sink and the, the cooking area the, where the uh, all this can go ahead and get varnished right now so that's good that's good get at least that part of it done today and we'll do these tomorrow I'll uh, try to tape them off in such a way that uh, keep the varnish off from these until tomorrow Well, day two, um, uh, this is Tuesday, um, uh, by the way, I'm here all week, I didn't uh, mention that in the first videos, but I'm here all week, I'm really busy about this, the rain has not started yet, and we're getting stuff done, uh, it's before breakfast time, it's around now, just coming up on 7.30 I guess, but I've been out here for a while, and I've already got this Let's see if we can get a light on this. I already got this uh, diagonal strip that goes up the bulkhead. This is all sanded out and ready for some uh, stain. Uh, all the trim around the uh, the countertop and the uh, sink over here are all ready to go. So I got that one done to port. This one I've still got to do to, to starboard. I'm going to sand this all out and uh, make it match in uh, like I said all this trim is done um, and if I get this all sanded out and stained up um, what I aim to do this time out is to get all of this around the sink and the countertop and all the uh, the uh, the bulkhead trim uh, varnished up several coats uh, with rain coming in today, I plan to just spend the whole day in here. By the way, you can hear it. I got my heater on, and uh, I spend the whole day in here just trying to get things really up to grade uh, the way that the, that is. And my uh, mahogany. I took this mahogany door off because I had to be able to get at the, the trim going up the bulkhead. So the mahogany door is off for now, safely stashed up in the V-berth. But... Um, Anyway, I think I'm going to come back out after breakfast and, and get the uh, get the starboard trim done, and then we can go ahead and start laying down some varnish, and um, look forward to that. Well, this is all stained. Let me get the light and my camera going in the same place. This is all stained, port and starboard, and I just took this off. This is a there's a, a board that comes up here. This is a fold down and underneath this fold down uh, which is uh, marks the the back side of the v-berth uh is where the porta potty used to be and actually they had a marine head in there originally but then they have a clip in there for a porta potty and so what what was there was this let me see if i can do two things at the same time this thing goes like this and marks the top of the the fold up and uh it's teak, and there's virtually nothing on it. I don't think it's ever been stained or whatever. So this is the last piece I'm going to do today. The only thing I'm going to have left later on is this this trim piece, these trim pieces here that go along the port and starboard uh, quarter berths, and this right here that marks the end of the uh, the back side of the V berth on both sides, and these blocks here are intended to support this fold up right here and that way thereby giving uh the, the full dimension to the back side of the v-berth so anyway this stuff gets done next time i'm not messing with it this time i've got loads of stuff going on here uh from inside the boat i want to get the i want to get this all wiped down i'm going to be giving this till about 10 30 that's 15 minutes from now uh get wiped down this uh the stain that's already been put on and once that's wiped down 
Uh, that part will have to wait eight hours to put urethane on, but this stuff is ready to go. All, all the trim around the, the sink, and you, I've already said this before, you already know this. Anyway, that's, uh, as, soon as, as soon as this stuff is wiped down, I'm going to start putting urethane on the, on the, the, train, um, the trim around the, the sink and the uh, stove area. So. Well, good morning again, back here, out here in Old Little Girl. Uh, I was out here early, got the heat on, I got everything sanded, and now definitely ready to throw some varnish on the, uh, the trim, at least around the sink and the stove area. Um, I'm going to probably go ahead and sand out the verticals first uh, that go up along the bulkhead, and uh, then we'll get going on the, uh, the all of it. So. Anyway, hey, making progress, and the beauty is, uh, hang on, let me turn this around. Wait a minute. Oh, well, here. Now you can see it. Light coming in. Got sun coming in. Got a beautiful day going out there. So, all right, take care. Bye. Anyway, coming along. And uh, we're all buttoned up here. I uh, don't know if you can see this, but uh, we're under blue tarp. Kind of a, a blue atmosphere in here. And I got a few of my house lights on. I'm going to be replacing the batteries on these later. Um, actually, it's not house lights. These are those little cheapy lights that I bought over at um, Home Depot. And they're wonderful. You just press on them and you got instant light around the cabin. Uh, that one is getting really dim. I'm going to have to replace the batteries. I just bought some new batteries yesterday. So, All right, we're moving on. Get some more cool stuff done here and uh, get the inside of Little Girl looking really nice and ship shape. Well, this has turned into a crappy day. Uh, I got this varnish on, and while I was inside grabbing some lunch, uh, it just started pouring. And this tarp of mine is shot. This is the first time I've had a chance to be here when uh, it's been coming down this, this much rain. And I just can't believe it. I mean, it's just, it's just pouring into the cockpit. And I left the hatch open somewhat, and now i got rain all in here. So we're done. Um, I'm going to take the time, because I've kind of contained it for the moment, I'm going to take the time and do these verticals on the uh, uh, edge of the bulkheads here. And, and to get that done, one last bit of varnish, and it'll dry. It's uh, fast drying stuff, and it's, at least it's not raining inside the boat. So I'll get that done, and then we're done for the day. I, I'm, I can't work out here when it's coming down this bad. It's just crap. So. All right, <laughs> tomorrow and the rest of the week, it's going to be beautiful, and uh, my brother and I are actually going to get in some kayaking tomorrow, and uh, we'll uh, document all that garbage, so, not garbage, excuse me, <laughs> document all that fun stuff, and uh, I'll get back to this. Well, it's 7 o'clock at night, and the rain has finally left. Still drizzly a little bit, but... Uh, it ain't pouring down rain like it was earlier. I just came back out to check on the uh, the varnish to see how it was drying, and it's not very much. It's so stinking damp. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get in, get in here and uh, uh, turn the heater on and get it nice and warm and toasty in here. Um, I think that by tomorrow morning, I think that uh, port. I think this is all gonna be dry by then, and uh, sand everything out and get another coat of varnish on, but, uh, wow, what a mess, what a mess. Well, I'll say this, um, I'll have something new for What's New Corner tomorrow, uh, on the basis of that stinking leaky tarp out there, that was ridiculous. I mean, I was climbing in and out from underneath that thing, and it just, I just got drenched. What a mess, so. Anyway, this is it for tonight. I'll be back out here in the morning, bright and early, and uh, getting stuff done, and uh, no time to waste when we're uh, in the business of restoring Good Little Good morning, girl. and happy Thanksgiving from aboard Little Girl. Um, it is just now coming up on 7 o'clock, and it is really, 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 really cold. <laughs> um, thankfully, I had the forethought to... Uh, unplug my heater from inside the house and so I went ahead and, and uh, plugged it back in before ever coming out here and got a little bit of heat going in the uh, down in the cabin here boy little girl cool thing is uh, let me just uh, see if I turn this around every time I try this it doesn't work there we go uh, the cool thing is in spite of the fact that it was wicked cold out here and everything 
all this is dry. All this varnish work that I did is dry, and it's just, I think it looks great. And, um, hang on, let's see, even the uprights, let me get a flashlight on. There we go. Even the uprights are completely dry now, and, uh, you might think, well, maybe the maybe the varnish just froze. No, it's dry. <laughs> just so cool. All right. Well, this is it's really good. Um, all the all the work I've done for the last two days, in spite of the rain, it just uh, came out really well. You can see such a, a nice shine on that. Uh, it is interesting because of not stripping it. Uh, even though this is a clear gloss varnish, it came out almost satin, and I really like it. It came out, uh, came out kind of pretty. So, all right. Well, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Um, first thing I got up this morning, my wife said, "You uh, take the turkey out of the refrigerator and put it in this uh, in a roasting pan on the countertop for it to be warming up before it goes into the." Uh, uh, into the oven. I guess she said 8 o'clock. Yeah, 8 o'clock it's going in the oven. So, big turkey. Um, I think there's about uh, nine of us that are going to be there. So, hey, hope you guys have a wonderful turkey day. God bless. And uh, uh, we'll pick up with you later on. Uh, I've got a few more days here before we uh, have to leave and go back up to Vermont. So, look forward to getting a little bit more work done aboard Little Girl. All right, well, it's very, very cold. <laughs> Wind chill has got to be down in the single digits right now. Bright sunshine out, but I want to just show you this. Uh, this is what I've had in mind for a long, long time. Um, all the woodwork, with a few exceptions in the V-Birth area, all the woodwork has been stained and urethane to match all the mahogany that I've got, uh, that I put on the boat. And um, you know what? Exactly, exactly. I wanted this thing to look sharp, and I think it does. You know, uh, you let me know what you think, but uh, really, really proud of this. Two days of working uh, under a rainy tarp and uh, very damp weather with a heater on, and uh, it's all come out very nicely, I think. So, anyway, and uh, let me know what you think, but uh, kind of proud of this. Uh, Everything has been stained and urethane to match, and I think we're, I think we've got a nice looking little boat here. Anyway, welcome to Little Girl, looking fine. So, hey, happy Thanksgiving.